Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Sculpt Wheel for Blender. Uh, this is for Blender 2.92 and above. I'm using 2.92 myself, and once again, this is an add-on you have to pay for. But for the price, it's not that bad. And for what it can do, it's very, very helpful. Um, I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download it yourself and check it out. But once you've downloaded it onto a system, the installation process is still just the same. Uh, go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system, click on Install Add on after you clicked on that folder. And then once it's been installed in the Blender, put a check in the box and it's activated. And as you can tell from the keyboard shortcut here from this instruction or this information here, you have to press the space bar in order for it to appear in the UI of Blender, which is the user interface. User interface, sorry about that. Now let's go into the sculpting mode, because that's the only place that's going to appear. You hold down the space bar, and there it is. And everything that is here, not everything, but most things that are here and here are now here. Conveniently placed for us to use. And the nice thing about this is that you can hover over any of these buttons, and it'll give you the name of it's in the middle. That's the first thing. Uh, because on the outer wheel are the brushes. The inner wheel contains some settings that you can use to adjust uh, your scene or the brushes for your scene. That's in the top part of it. And the lower half of it on the inner wheel contains the masks that you can use. Now, when you hover your mouse over the middle, it says pad. And for that part of it, that adjusts the strength and the radius of your brush. If you left click, you'll see it says size and strength. Uh, size is up and down. Let go again, click. Strength is left and right. So that's also convenient, that's also nice. Uh, for the sculpt wheel, you can make adjustments in terms of the way the wheel looks. Now the parameters for your wheel are over to the right hand side of your UI of your user interface in Blender. Left click here, you'll see the sculpt wheel options here. Tool sets, custom buttons, wheel settings. Now the wheel settings helps you increase or reduce the size of the wheel itself. Uh, if we left click and drag, we make, we're making the wheel bigger. You hold down the spacebar again, now wheel is much bigger. Left click and drag towards the left there. Hold down the uh, spacebar now, the wheel is smaller. And the thing I like about the wheel is that anywhere you click, wherever your cursor is, that's where the wheel will appear. It doesn't just hover hover in the middle of your scene, which is also quite nice. You can change the uh, keyboard shortcuts for how the wheel shows up and so on and so forth. But you can also adjust the buttons of the wheel. Let's click on that. I'm not going to go over everything in terms of what the uh, options are. But you can make your own custom buttons here, which is also nice. You can create the uh, kind and name, name it. Uh, the image for your thumbnail and so on and so forth. And then the tool set, you can actually add and decrease buttons uh, for your scene. For example, on the wheel, for example, if I hold down the um, space bar, you can see all my buttons here. If I feel that there are too many buttons, I can just delete these right here. Hold down again, less buttons. To add buttons, you just left click on any of these buttons on the left hand side, left click on that one, click on add active button and it adds it, hold down our space bar and there it is right there. Now you can actually uh, add a new tool set to these, uh, the wheel. Right now, the button over here, as you add more tools to your wheel, I think it'll add more buttons to it so you can change switch from one button set to the next. Now let's click on new tool set and it creates a new tool set for us. And we're going to click on, let me see, let's click on that. Add active button. Click on that tool. Add active button. Click on that tool. Add active button. When we click on our <clears throat> space bar, you'll see what happens. Click on that. Now we have all the buttons that we have just added for this new tool set. If you want to switch it back to the original tool set, left click on this button, and we're back to our first uh, set of tools 
for uh, the wool sculpt wheel. So you have that option there. So this is really a really handy and nifty little tool for Blender when it comes to sculpting. And that's just a, pretty much an intro to the add-on. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And um, hopefully this was helpful for those of you watching. And hopefully you'll download it and check it out yourselves and see how useful it is for you in Blender. And once again, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And I will really appreciate you guys who have been watching the channel and watching the uh, videos on the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.